During the playoffs last year, there were times that Clint Capella was just flat out unplayable. The Rockets really didn't have a serviceable big to go to outside of PJ Tucker. And that guy's only like six foot six. Though the Rockets did have Kenneth Fareed, who played very well during the regular season. Coach D'Antoni didn't see him as a valuable asset in the postseason, though he performed in limited minutes. With Harden being one of the best passers in the league, as a big man, he makes your job very easy. Now what if I told you guys the Rockets already had a guy on the roster that has the potential to become the next Serge Ibaka? You guys probably wouldn't believe me, right? A guy with that type of talent to become the next big time player for the Houston Rockets? But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications, guys. You guys will not want to miss another decoup video, and that is facts. The Rockets have this guy on the roster by the name of Isaiah Hartenstein, very young player. Now, I've had the pleasure to watch Hartenstein play in person, and I've also had the pleasure to talk with two of the trainers that have trained Isaiah Hartenstein, and one of those guys actually still trains Daniel House. You guys know the guy that made that big leap and sort of came out of nowhere to become a prominent NBA figure. Hartenstein is a guy that when he gets on the floor, he's showing you that he's hungry. He's playing 120%. He's showing you that he's a guy with some talent. He's showing you that he's a guy that wants to make his name known in the NBA. Isaiah is a guy that put up monster showcases in the G League, looking like he was playing among players much younger than him. But while doing it, Hartenstein also looked very good. To me, the G League is about developing your skill. What skills can you take from the G League that are going to stay with you in the NBA? Hartenstein looked amazing in his time in the G League, dropping games of 44 points. If I'm an NBA coach and I see that guys are in the G League and they're not doing things that they're going to be doing at an NBA level, I'm discarding that. I don't care about that. The case was not such with Hartenstein. This is a guy that showed me he is athletic. He can shoot the ball. He can become the next Serge Ibaka. Now, is Hartenstein an elite shooter right now? No, the answer is absolutely not. The guy is in a position, though, to where he can improve. The guy is in a position to where if he is open, he's going to knock down the shot. He's in a position to where you actually have to respect him from out there. As you guys already know, James Harden is an elite passer. He's a guy that loves to have big lob threats. And throughout this video, Hartenstein has showcased his ability to roll to the basket with power and finish through contact. He's also a giant lob target, which is perfect for James Harden. Or even a guy like Russell Westbrook, who is among the league leaders in assists almost every year. This is a guy with the ability to get seven footers running at him. And when these seven footers run at Hardenstein, he's going right by them. If you put a guy that's smaller on Hardenstein, he's going to take you down low. He's going to dominate you in the post. Now, the real question is, how is he going to see the floor when the Rockets already have Clint Capella? But the answer is simple. If Clint Capella is the version of himself that he was in the playoffs at times, I think it'll be an easy place to get Hartenstein some minutes. And I also think he has the potential to play next to Clint Capella. He's actually the ideal fit. Those videos we saw of Clint Capella shooting jumpers, we can scrap those. We have Hartenstein for that now. We already know with James Harden's ISO ability, the Rockets spacing is already ridiculous. But now imagine it with PJ Tucker, the elite corner three point shooter. In one corner, you have Isaiah Hartenstein in another corner, a guy who has shown the ability to hit the three ball consistently at the NBA level. And then you put a guy like Eric Gordon on maybe one of the wings and you have Russ or you have James Harden ISOing, and the thing is, Russ is actually a decent spot up shooter, despite what many people believe. Don't forget the off ball wrinkles. The offensive mastermind, D'Antoni, is completely capable of adding to this offense. This team is going to be one of the best offenses I think we have seen in a while, and the Rockets have shown this for some time now. Now, when you also play Hartenstein, you're not giving up defense. Like I said, this guy is an ox. You're not giving up rebounding. He's also a very capable rebounding. I guess so. 
Clint Capella is a better rebounder. But my point is you're not sacrificing everything as you would when you normally go small. You have a guy that's capable of giving you some of the small ball benefits in a big body. Now for many, it may be easy to overlook this guy because you may have never heard of the guy or you don't follow the Rockets that closely, but he's definitely a guy to monitor. He's a guy, again, that's six foot 11, maybe a legit seven foot. This is a guy with talent that is undeniable. The rebounding, the shooting, the shot blocking, the ability to take one or two dribbles and attack the basket all remind me of a young Serge Ibaka. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And it also, it helps that he has Russ and Harden. I mean, the fit just seems so ideal. Unfortunate the Thunder had to break that team up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you did. Let me know what players you guys have on your list as a breakout star. I'm Decoop. I may do a video on them if you comment. And I'm out.